Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and my first attempt at hard mode last time ended in disaster. We got our ass handed to us and didn't even achieve anything on the post-it note for hard. Curse of the Maze, joy. So we're going to try again, and we're going to stick with Isaac, because I want the D6. Hey, not a bad start. Do you blow those up? You do not. So why did it go bad last time? Well, let's get the obvious out of the way, I just wasn't playing well. Ever so often, you can just have a bad day. And usually the, the worst things that happen to you while you play, if you started playing sloppily, you just get worse. And I believe that was a prime example of that happening. We didn't get any proper damage ups until Necropolis 2. That didn't help. Our... Um, oh, <laughs> hey, this is already better. Our selection of items and rerolls was not great either, to be honest. I think it was a mistake picking up Monstro's Lung in the first floor, which was an XL floor. I wanted to see the changes slash glitch for myself, and yeah, sure enough, it's a it's a glitch, and it was a pain, and I wish I didn't take it. Monstro's lung, I don't think is a bad item, incidentally. I know some people do think that. Curse of the maze. I just think that you need to to have synergies with other stuff you have. So therefore, if you find Monstro's lung first, it's a crapshoot whether or not you'll get anything that works with it. Cartridge is fine because I have nothing better. So yeah, I think if I didn't have Monstro's Lung, I might have pulled something out there. But what else didn't help is we didn't get a single natural heart drop. Not a single one. The heart drops we got were because I picked up little Chubb. Chad. Chad. Yes, Chad. All the others, uh, rather, there was no others because of hard mode. Hard mode makes less red hearts drop. However, I didn't expect it to mean basically none. I think that was just extreme bad luck. What else was not very, very lucky? Didn't get a single Tinnadrock. Or maybe I got one actually now I think about it. Good pill. But yeah, it was just a, it was a conspiracy of everything that could go wrong. Coupled with me not playing very well and then getting frustrated at the game not giving me a break. Equaling a disastrous three times attempt and fail of killing it lives without getting hit because I only had one HP. But, you know. That's how it goes. The base minimum I want to do in a hard mode run is kill it lives as well because that's the first thing that will count on the post-it note. Killing regular mom doesn't count for anything. Now this run so far we've had two damage ups and we've done one floor. This is like the polar opposite of, of what happened last time. It's a range up. I don't like a range up so we'll re-roll it into more HP which is fine if I get the chance to trade it away. Oh yeah that's the other thing because of the me playing fairly badly. No deals with the devil. I think I could have used that bomb to get more stuff. Oh well. And when we did eventually get a deal with the devil, it was Krampus. <laughs> so, you know. It was just a catalogue of errors, like that damage I just took. That was, that was pretty shabby. Justice. Use that right now for stuff, thank you. Oh, actually I should have waited until I got hit again before using that, since I think Justice always gives you a full heart, not a half. I could be wrong. But yeah, you get a lot less red hearts, or sometimes none at all, in hard mode. So every hit matters, and it's probably a good idea... Hmm, freeze effect is great, I'll, I'll just take it, thanks. It's probably a good idea to get onto spirit hearts and black hearts, assuming you have a way by which to generate those. Will I use this pill now? The glitch is fixed now, so you can bomb your way out of secret rooms, if it gets you in that scenario. Thank you, freeze effect. I'll clear the room and then use the bell. Oh, that's nice. I can see forever. Great. Let's check the rooms we've already been in and see where the secret rooms are. Not here. There's one of them. We definitely want our shop on this floor. Oh, we can get into the boss trap room and have a little look. Nope. We can do that now because the glitch got fixed. This is a classic room from the original game. And we want that tinted rock, so I want to do like circle straight. Are these not hitting that? Oh, that one did for sure. There we are. Spirit Heart came too late though because I've already taken Red Heart damage on the floor. However, we can still hope that I kill the boss without getting hit, unless it's the haunt, in which case, screw everybody, including you. That's right, including you, even the younglings. Do you even do anything? I mean, I know you do the butterbean effect, but that doesn't do any damage, it just pushes you. 
I'm beginning to suspect the shop was actually over on the far side of the stage where it already was. Hey, we got a red heart from that champion though. Remember in hard mode as well, there's more champions but they are not guaranteed to drop things. Or they have a lower rate I guess. We're getting good bomb drops as well for whatever reason. There's a bomb right there. Ooh. Hagalaz, destruction. We'll use that on this room to destroy all the other skulls. Right, that was well worth it. Devil card is fantastic. Stars card. Bean to room on this floor. Death card I can use in a room, I suppose. I'll take the devil. And if it's the haunt, I'll just use it to kill the haunt easier. But the stars card means I wouldn't need a key on the next floor to get into the item room, which would save a key, obviously. And it's tempting. I wish one of them was hanged man, but, you know. Never mind. So the boss and the shop must be this way. There's the shop. Two champions. Although our damage for this point in the game is definitely above where it needs to be, so that's good. It'll start to teeter off around about the depths, I would say. FM builds, nothing. Alright, we have the tarot cards. I would have loved the starter deck was in here. I could re-roll it and then buy the battery. Although, does it re-roll the battery? Hmm. I will kill the boss first before I decide what to do about this. There's some decisions we need to make here. Oh. Keys? Callus. I mean... Oh, that means I can do that chest and stuff back the way. Fantastic. Also, I didn't realise... Or maybe I did at one point, but then I forgot again. Callus also protects you from creep. It isn't just spikes. So it is doubly good. It's like you can fly, just apart from... You know, you can't go over gaps. So we got pins, so I don't really want to use the devil card. If I get one more key... Um, Reroll. Is that better? I mean, it gives you, what, evil up and a black heart? And that's about it. Maybe if shot speed up, I can't remember. It's not great. But we've already got a bunch of black hearts, so why not? More range and shot speed. It's not a bad combination. Yeah, so we're sticking with Callus for sure. We'll buy the reroll. We'll use the reroll. And it's the boomerang. Don't want the boomerang, so we'll buy the key. I will donate one penny. Buy that. Because, you know, 301, that's the views this video is going to get when it's been up for 10 minutes. That was well worth it. Thank you very much. And we get a key for free, thanks to Callus. I actually find it kind of... Uh, let's just stick with the devil card because we have two keys. I, I find it offensive that my last hard run was... was I, I just couldn't get a break. And now I'm getting too many breaks. That said, if we don't get any other damage ups for the whole game, the game's going to get really hard towards the latter half. But for now, we're going to be fine. Curse room? Yep, sure. I was expecting a spider room, to be honest. Oh, there goes our last spirit heart. We've now got tons and tons of black hearts, which is amazing. But anyway, this floor should also be easy, and the next one as well, from a damage perspective. Our red hearts are very protected, so the fact that less of them are going to drop is really irrelevant for a little while. But faces! I needed this, though, to be honest, because just before recording this one, I was actually recording this war of mine, and without spoiling anything, in case stuff isn't posted in the order, I think it is. Also, my mouse cursor is on the screen, and I didn't notice again. Sorry. Some bad stuff happened in my this war of mine playthrough, so I need something to get over it. Get the one that's frozen. So, yeah, yeah, if that mouse cursor has been there the whole time, I apologise. I, I don't see it. <laughs> I only see it when it does that, the hourglass loading thing, even though I've got no idea where it's loading. I, I didn't get a Skype message or anything like that, so who knows. But anyway, I'll be aiming for the chest, although in hard mode I once again need to go down to the dark room as well. But we'll see how things go. So that just slowed us down, so boss rush is possibly not going to be on the cards. It might be, you know, it might be. And I need to do that on hard mode as well. Damage should mean that this shouldn't be a problem. Get the super fast one. I forgot that we can slow them as well. Although we need to kill them fully, not just get them down on the ground. Get down on the ground! We're getting so many consumables! Hmm. Yeah. Was a bomb and three pennies and a half heart worth it? Yeah. 
I don't think the room's going to take us very long. What's next? Oh, more of these guys. Come on, slow effect, kick in more often. Thank you. See, if you ask, you receive. Say, if you could find it in your heart to drop Polythemus, since I've never seen it yet in Rebirth, despite playing... How many hours have I played this game for now? I could check. What's the point of me recording this? I'm actually genuinely curious. So very... Oh, so I totally didn't do the seed, did I? The seed is 0HM0, 2BGA. I apologise for not doing that. Clearly, I really am rusty. I've been playing Rebirth for... 59 hours. That's not super long, I suppose. Oh, actually, yeah, it is, compared to most games. It doesn't feel like that, but when you think about it, each run is like an hour, so... It adds up real quick. But anyway, we have to find our item room, we have to find our shop. Well, shop, maybe not. But we just got a reroll, so I want to find item room soon. Oh, I forgot that they fire out, oh well. Well, that's our shop, so I'll have a look in because it might be greed, and I'd be fine with it being greed. Hmm. Well, there is a buyable reroll in there and a steam sale. I would really rather like the steam sale. This is only caves one, right? Yeah, we're halfway through our time, also. Yeah, I'd like to buy the steam sale. We still haven't found our item room, must remember that. But anyway, let's do the boss since we're here. It's Pestilence. I don't think I need to use the Devil card on Pestilence. Also, it's the champion one that likes to shoot out the harder versions of the spiders. Yeah, those bastards. They just do ninja leaps when you least expect it. I don't know whether in Rebirth you can re-roll um, cubes of meat or ball bandages and whether or not it just rolls into the opposite type. I like it though, so I'm not going to do that. Don't be Krampus. I was hoping for at least an item better still though. Something for free? Hey, we did indeed get um, Guppy's Head for free. We'll pick it up so it counts towards our transformation. We'll put it back down. We'll re-roll it. Look of sin. That gives a pill. Well, that gives us our secret rooms on this floor. If the devil room stays open, I... Uh, never mind. <laughs> getting one of the three items needed to become Guppy and getting another book out of the rotation is fine. Obviously that was a crap secret room, but still. We want two more pennies for sure. Oh, another secret room's in here. I'm going to use one bomb here. Like here-ish. Oh, I like Liberty Cap, but I like Callus. I think Callus has served us well, but Liberty Cap is GG, so... We'll stick with Liberty Cap. Oh, hang on, yeah, I heard the secret room in there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I went right past the damn thing. We get a reroll. For nothing. Also, excuse the ice cream van if you can hear it. That's right, now that the Christmas holidays are over, the ice cream van's back to being there every time I record a video. And I went the wrong way. This way. I sure hope his jingle isn't copyrighted. To, to someone else, I mean, not to him. I mean, you always see ice cream vans with, like, copyrighted Disney characters and whatnot on them. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't buy permission to use those. There's, like, there's one that goes around with Sonic and Tails and Mario on it. So that is Thunder Thighs, HP, speed down, ability to smash things, which would also remove a part of the need for callus. Yeah, we're taking it. Oh, look how horrible it makes your legs. I've never had just this before when I haven't had any other kind of like bodily effect on Isaac. Oh, that looks gross. Right, our speed is now an issue though, definitely. So, we're done on this floor. I could re-roll this shop before I buy, but... Now, I must remember I don't have callus anymore. So we're penniless, but now everything will be half. Oh! <laughs> Mom's wig for free is fine! I hate that this run is so lucky compared to the last one. How the hell did my mouse get back on the screen? It's gone. It's on my other monitor now. It won't trouble you anymore. But anyway. That was good. So, yeah, getting the ability to stomp stones just before we get to the floors where there's tons of skulls is real good. Seven minutes to do three floors. That's not going to happen with our speed where it is now, so boss rush will need to wait, I think. And we've got the harder version. That's fine, though. 
So if you don't know what Mom's wig does, you just saw it in effect there. Just randomly, I think. I think it's just random. It spits out spiders every so often because it's, it's full of spiders. Much like Mom's boobs, presumably. Oh, don't have callus. I'm stealing that from American Dad. Roger the alien. He gets a mammogram and the doctor exclaims with horror, your breasts, they're full of spiders. And he replies, that's the way I like them. And then later on, the German fish, voiced by the person who does the medic in TF2, says, I can't stop thinking about those uh, spiders in your boobies. I like American Dad. It's a lot better than Family Guy. Anywho. Incidentally, it's just, you know, I always get spider curse rooms. I always do. Why did I drop Callus? Oh, because I can do this! Nurner game! Nurner! I am so glad I bought Steam Sale. We are going to be able to clear the place out. Let's risk breaking these, even though some mushrooms can explode. Golden key for this floor is also fantastic. So that is... that's... Is that speedball? If it is, I, I need that. I always get speedball and synth oil confused because synth oil is ever so slightly greyer than speedball and it's very hard to tell. Well, unless, I mean, if I saw a picture of the two of them next to each other, it'd be easy, but when you only see one of them, it's hard to tell. I don't commit different shades of grey to my memory. We're getting a lot more red hearts than we did on that other attempt at hard mode, incidentally. And yes, that annoys me. And no, I didn't pick up Demon's Tail or anything like that. Unless picking up little Chad, even though he gives you red hearts, somehow lowers the drop rate. But it was bad before I found him. He saved me. The run would have ended much sooner if it wasn't for him. So we found our Caves 2 boss, or Catacombs 2 boss. We'll fight it now. Might be worth using the Devil Card on. If not, I'll save it for Mom. In fact, we'll just use Lemon Party. Oh, does this affect you? No, never mind. I should have done that the opposite way around. I should have used the Devil Card and saved the Lemon Party pill for, like, Mom's foot. Anyway. Thank you, Cube of Meat. Saved me from damage there. Yeah, it's below for the adversary. Oh, you're frozen. I almost hit him into me there. I always do that. So he's going to be deceased. Are you? Yeah. Torfo... I don't like it that much, especially because it looks like it's Isaac's mother doing him from behind. But people say it's good. What is it again? Tears and shot speed. So it's DPS. It's a DPS up. No wonder he cries given what she's doing to him in it. We look like that aerobics instructor from the late 80s, early 90s. What was his name? Richard Simmons. I only remember that because of the robotic one from The Simpsons. Smithers released the robotic Richard Simmons. I'm a wealth of Simpsons quotes, incidentally. Pre-season 10. So, fanny pack and... I mean, I could technically re-roll these, but I like them both. And I'm just going to use Pandora's box now. Wow. So we've got HP up, which I will take. Even though we've now got dangerous amounts of actual health. And we'll donate. I know there's more shops, but I need to get in the habit of donating more. So we know there's a battery for three pennies and a spare heart in there if I get damaged. It's good to know. As predicted as well, we haven't really had a damage up. We've had DPS up and we've got the spiders, but we haven't had any other damage. Are we done on this floor? We went to all the special rooms, so actually, yeah, let's just go. We can't do two floors in two minutes 40, but there's no point hanging around if there's nothing to do. So actually, the fact that the reroll was in the shop was irrelevant. I suppose I should have cleared the whole floor in case a gold chest dropped, given I had a golden key. That might have been a bit of laziness. I am going to open this. It was more spiders. Which is fine, but it's not really worth clearing a mob trap room for. And the final wave? Oh, these guys. Nobody likes these guys. Although with the freeze effect, it works kind of well. Is this... Yeah, it's just depths. Curse of the Blind, so I won't know any items. That's the really annoying thing about hard mode. The, the frequency of getting curses, and the one where you don't know what you're picking up is just terrible. Because what if it's Bob's brain? 
What if it's soy milk? And even if it's not, I can't re-roll, or I can, but I don't know, I could be re-rolling Polythemus into Bob's brain. I don't want any part of that. Now, if they land on the spikes, they do take damage from it. I remember that from a previous run. If, like, they're standing on it when it pops up. Hmm, they seem to be avoiding it this time, though. Maybe they changed the AI a little bit. Look, he's acting like that's a wall. Aren't you? Hmm. Kind of grateful for the range ups now. Joker? Suicide King! So as I understand it, the Suicide King card just out and out kills you. And you might be thinking, well, what the hell is the point of a card that kills you? Well, I can't remember precisely what it does. I think it gives you a bunch of consumables and or like stat ups. So you have to have an extra life. So like say you've just, you've got Lazarus's resurrection or something. And you only have one HP anyway. Might as well use it. You'll get some stuff. But obviously I'm on, on one life. And it's a really good life, so I don't want to lose it. And we have a battery that I can get. And we did have compass effect in the last room, and I didn't notice until it was too late. Uh, but if, and if that had anything in it, it would just be Bob's brain. We will go in the curse room, though. Potentially good. Well, that's covered our cost of coming in, I guess. Golden key. Very good. Very good. Throws talking nut on the floor. Oh, compass effect. Nope. No, it's not. Oh, we have Golden Key. Nurner! Tower card is... High Priestess. Devil card is Bear. I've said it before, but again, if you aren't aware or have forgotten or have never watched, Devil card gives you the Book of Belial effect, which is just massive damage up for a room. I think the Book of Belial effect is better than Tower Babylon, but I'm not sure. It feels like it is, anyway. Let's go down. Oh. A dead end with a person I've killed twice already on this very floor. Go on, be the boss as well, Chubb. Be the boss. Hey, we're getting so many red hearts. I mean, even if we only got one per floor, that's still going to be four times the natural red heart drops that were in that last run. Try and freeze you, please. Thank you. And you. Well, let's get rid of him first. Yeah, that guy's a dick. Was that my... That was almost like I stood on him there. That, it even made the noise of the stompy thing kicking in. That was weird. Still no compass effect. I must remember. Battery, battery, battery. Secret room could be here, so I'll use a bomb to check. Could be on the opposite side as well, where I just was, but never mind. Go my spiders, go! We've already missed boss rush, so might as well try for 2D bit. Plus that is just so goddamn satisfying. Ah, interesting. And there is red hearts on the floor. I'm not sure how many red hearts, so let's... No! No! I tried to save you, you fool! I reacted too slow. Oh well, that could have paid out. I'm glad there's red hearts on the floor now because otherwise I was just throwing away HP for nothing because he killed himself. The fool! Polycephalus, bad room. This is only the one, although well, he does have the Diglett who just got killed by me standing on him again. Is there some nuance to Thunder Thighs or maybe just the stompy status effect in general that I didn't know about and I'm slowly discovering now? Because that's what it feels like. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Cancer, HP up plus you feel protected. That's fine, I guess. Did it actually give me HP? It doesn't look like it did, because I was already on that. That's secret room teleportation. So the patch has fixed this now, so I should be able to safely use this. Two moon cards. It did indeed, and there's a battery. But again, what's the point of batteries on a floor where I can't see the item I'm picking up anyway? Oh, we got into our shop for free. Oh, we had to go and key anyway, so who cares? What is this? Mum's purse. Oh, now if I found a good trinket, I could take both. God damn it. Is this the last shop? No, there's one more. We'll keep our money then. We'll buy a key. We'll keep the rest of the money for the final one. If nothing else, I donated a little bit. Let's take the devil card. I'm relying on that for damage in late game because we don't seem to be getting any damage ups. Oh, no, no. I'm oh, thank God I had Stompy. 
and mini marsh effect for this room. Get over it. That champion is really, really fast. Did I miss any other special rooms? Shop, item room, curse room. Nah. Boss. Headless Horseman, rare. Rare for me anyway, outside of boss rush. Maze that didn't hit me. It probably should have. Even if this does somehow end up in a loss, it still went a lot better overall that it's renewed my faith in my play of the game, even though it's mostly luck. So we are going to reroll the pony. I don't know if it rerolls to anything. It rerolled turn all stats up, unfortunately including HP, which is a bit of a shame, but that's still good. Well, anyway, yes. That went well. Let's go to Mom. We are actually going quite slow for how strong we technically are now. That is another damage up that we just got. Our DPS is great. We will do this. Well worth it. I really hope the final shop isn't greed, but I feel like it is, especially because I just said that. It's like Stalker in Warframe. Oh, I don't want to make a I don't want to make a Warframe reference. What is wrong with me? Never mind. I didn't I didn't see anything for a minute there. Look at those footprints, they look like lizards. I've never noticed that before. Also, look over here! A happy squirrel! Thank you, Cube of Meat. Save me from damage again. Cubes of Meat are just so good. Even if you don't get an upgrade for them. Just the base cube is is so good. We had um Compass of Ed there. The shop is this way, the item room and boss are down and right. And there was a special room north, but I didn't catch what it was. So hopefully it'll kick in again. So we'll keep going this way to get our final shop that inevitably has greed in it because I said it does. There it is right there. Hey greed! This is an unexpected surprise. Drop another steam sail. Well, I could still find another donation machine thanks to an, ar an arcade. Oh that's right, that's the other thing Capricorn does. When you get hit once it gives you wafer effect. It's super super good! Also, look how big we are because I got Fatal Mushroom for this room. That's a dead end. Oh, also very prime second secret room material. Right there. Hmm, nope. Triple A battery just gives you a little bit of charge to your item. It's good, but Liberty Cap is better. So there's our boss, but we haven't had our item room yet, so we need to go... Oh, damn it. Pay more attention to the enemies and less to the map. The last item room could be anything. It could even be an item that I want. Can I make this? Yeah. So the item room was down here. Yep. This is a big room for only having the two enemies in it. I met. I was hoping for Dry Baby from one of these. Shielded Tears. Rare find, and I like it a lot. So, if you've never seen me with shield tiers before, there was a special room. It might be a curse room, so I'm going to go look. It was north, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's an arcade south. Yeah, shielded tiers block shots, so if something shoots at me and I shoot at it, my tier blocks it. So as long as you have a fast firing rate, which we do, we can kind of drown the enemy. So, what we're doing with this, knowing that our last shop was greed. See how many red hearts we can get, and then play the blood bank. Or get Skatol really, really quick. Give me a dollar. Just because. I, can, I think I can get in behind this so it just plays instantly. Oh, god damn it. We're not going to play this, we're just going to blow it up. Skatol was a good get. It, it's fine. I was hoping for some red hearts first, though. Maybe I should have cleared the whole floor before doing that, but. Never mind. Oh, Curved Horn is guaranteed damage, whereas Liberty Cap is just occasional damage. I think Curved Horn... Oh, we have space! I totally forgot we had space! Never mind then, ignore me. Oh well. So, I think we're ready to just go fight Mom. I don't foresee it being very hard. I also don't think I need to use the Devil Card. I think I can probably hold on and maybe use it on It Lives or Isaac. I'm just, uh, the more 
close. The more I hold on to it, the more valuable it becomes because the bosses get harder and tankier. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's Red Mom actually, so I don't think I need to. Red Mom is easiest mom. Hey! Oh, right, she got frozen. Do 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 Yeah, not an issue. And we'll be taking the Polaroid, thank you. We did get a deal with the devil. We haven't had Krampus yet, and he always shows up, so I think it'll be Krampus. It's not, it's Brimstone for two. Brimstone with shielded tears, does that even do anything? I'm curious enough to find out. We've got a super quick charge time. Oh right, and of course the glitch. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. I think we're strong- oh, it's you, Roll. We're strong enough now that I think the annoying glitch probably isn't going to make a huge difference, but I could be very wrong. I don't want to go that way, really. It will mean, like there, for instance, we're going to take more damage than I would have, I think. But remember, we have Capricorn, so every time I do take a full heart of damage, I then take half damage from there on in for that room. Perfect bosses for Brimstone. Yeah, our damage is good. And our fire rate is fantastic. Chug. Poor little sod. There we go, so that's him dealt with. The tarot card is the moon. Do I want to take that or do I want to take it? Well, we could go to the secret room, so why not? We'll use the moon card and see where we end up. Uh, so, of course, it's greed. Well, super greed. He's actually easier. Of course, he drops the quarter. Oh, I could have re rolled it. I was stupid. Yeah, I should have re rolled that. But oh well. Now I need to fight my way back to that Devil card, which I'll probably end up not using in this route. And we can't walk on creep because I got rid of Callus. Our fire rate is actually so high that it doesn't matter that I'm automatically firing when I walk into a room. <laughs> Never mind, it's going to be a bit slower now. But that's okay. Capricorn is probably becoming one of my favourite Zodiac sign items in this game. Taurus is good because it, it triggers the invincibility effect so often. Or wait, is that... Yeah, that's the one that gives you invincibility, right? It's also starting to look like I have to go through that room I don't want to go through. Which is just typical. Yeah, dead end. So I just cleared most of this floor for no good reason. Oh wait, no, I could go up and round, I forgot. Or just straight up, in fact. Oh, wait, there's the boss. And the curse room is over here. I will risk the curse room even though we don't have fantastic HP. Well, I... yeah. What I should have done was save a moon card for doing this. Go ahead is fine, I suppose. Is go ahead worth two black hearts? Yes, but this isn't our way to our boss, so yes, I do have to go through that room. Don't throw this when you've got a good thing going. The key might pay off later. Ugh. I don't think those things do anything, so I might as well just wait and fire at the hands. Is that it? For hands? I think. Okay. Boss should be on the other side. Nope. I have to go a bit further than that. Tinted rocks. Tinted rocks. No. Oh, this is not the way to the boss. Well, it is, inadvertently. No! Oof, that was so close. I was so sure I was going to do damage there. Turns out there is actually a lot more of this floor I'm going to have to clear, annoyingly. Oh, and there's a pin in this room as well. Fantastic. Right, so it must be to the right and then up. Yeah. It's the only way it could be. Which pill is this? Luck up. It's fine. Yeah. One more room up and then the boss is there. And we're actually going to make some progress on hard mode now because I don't see me dying to it lives even if I get hit a whole lot. Oh, that's actually a dingle. It was a dingle. There is a tinted rock. Right there. Thank you, that helps a lot. That covers the cost of goat head. Here we go, Mama Gertie, we can't fly, so this is going to be a little bit annoying, unless we freeze her the whole way. Bastard. Well, we get a guaranteed deal anyway, so... 
HP up. Fine, I would rather use my reroll potentially in here. It's going to be Krampus though. Yeah. We can still use the reroll, I believe. My beam's better than your beam. Ah, but a lump of coal is good enough. Mom's Peril. It never pays out. Alright, so I actually forgot that this was not the It Lives fight. <laughs> I was getting ahead of myself. So let's hope that we don't have to daily dally on this floor as much as we did on the last one. Look, the spider's just chilling out. They don't even care. Oh, double key room. Interesting. I don't think I would reroll this run, though. Having Stompy save me there. I'm still curious what it is. Oh, alright. We got our two keys back, and the Cancer Trinket is better than Liberty Cap. So now our charge rate is going to be max. Yep, that's how fast we're firing now. That is super good. And there's a heart in there if I need it. Ah. I can't fly, so it's not really worth it. He'd probably just pay it in HP. Although, granted, HP is fine. We know that pill. It's puberty. Let's go through puberty twice or three times in the same run. Dead end. Bad. More hearts is good, though. I was hoping for... Oh, Compass Fed is never going to happen because I got rid of Liberty Cap. If I manage to mess this up, that'll be the reason why this run failed. Got rid of Liberty Cap. 2014. Well, by the time this posts, maybe 2015? In fact, yes, certainly, because I'm already uploaded to January 1st at this point. I can see forever. I'm not going to go out of my way to find the secret rooms if they're on the way to the boss or where I stumble to, then that's fine. Damn. I... Oh, I got fanny pack. That's why we're getting more red hearts than normal. There's our boss. There's our secret room. One, then the other. Thank you. I don't think I need to use the devil here. Isaac yourself. I actually don't, that sounds rude. And that went very well. So we unlocked Lost Baby. That might be a co-op only thing, I'm not sure. Anyway, up to the cathedral. And hopefully not... Oh, no map. Hopefully not a long way to go to find Isaac. But knowing how my luck is... Let's try left. Hmm, again, you'll probably just pay with an HP and I'll probably hurt myself getting to you. Why can't I fly yet? All the good runs have you flying. Hey, charge for a D6 if I need it. Good. Although, actually, I could get the beggar to pay out and then reroll it if I don't want HP. Although, I wouldn't pass up HP. And dead end already. I'm not sure. Oh, screw myself. <laughs> Pay out with HP then, go on, you know you want to. I used to be so good at doing the diagonal walks. Although it is different in Rebirth compared to the original. Come on, bud, I know I've got lots of money, but still. Black Bean, reroll. Flusher, even worse. I'm going to reroll that as well. At least I only took. Hey, that was a fantastic reroll. At least I only took half a heart when I damaged myself on the way out. So now we have double brimstone goodness. Our beam looks really cool when ours fires inside of that one. Interesting. I think this might be the first time I've ever had little brimstone and brimstone at the same time, you know. Maybe outside of like Azazel's, maybe that's happened. But not like proper brimstone. By our powers combined! Up here. Seems to be running into a lot of the head part of the headless horseman. Ugh, this, it feels like this floor is going on forever, and yet we haven't really covered that many rooms yet. Monstro 2. First monstro anything of the run, which is out of the ordinary. Thank you. Double Gemini room. Not going to be an issue. And a tinted rock. Let's keep on going this way. Thankfully, thanks to Brimstone. Thankfully, thanks is what I just said. I paused to run that sentence through my head and got myself hit. 
It feels like I've gone around in a circle, you know. Ace of Spades is a lot rarer now than it used to be, but no, I want the, the faster charge speed. Hey, we found Isaac. Damn you. Will I use the Devil Card on Isaac? I don't know. Let's see what our first blast does. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. Because I can't get the full beam on him for very long because of the constant firing he does, so... I'm not hitting him for as long, so I want it to do more damage. Blue Baby is actually easier to hit with full blasts. Not full blast like that, but that was a terrible miss. Oh, I don't have time to run, so... <laughs> This should do it. And there we are. Down to the chest. Go. Go. Do we get anything for that? No, we do not. I think it is just Mom's heart for items. Right, so. Good. Good. Bad. Bad. We shall take Demon Baby. We'll pick up and put down the shears, just for the sake of re-rolling. Same with the Game Kid. Well, I could use the Game Kid to clear a room, actually. Well, first of all, we'll use Book of Secrets, because Book of Secrets is awful. We'll clear a room with the game kid, we'll clear this room right here. Or even... Am I not going to be able to clear a room with this? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, more or less. Then we'll clear a room with the pinky shears. The same room! Then we'll re-roll them. And we got another devil card. I like that. We rolled into the Onk, we don't really need. I don't like Sissy Baby or whatever it's called, but I'll take it anyway. Oh wait no, that's the one I keep on confusing it with. Lemon Party is a good pill, we'll use that in a room. We'll re-roll the Onk because at this point I'm not going to die, I don't think. And even if I did, I don't know if I want a chest win with Blue Baby. It's actually the perfect room for Lemon Party and I didn't use it quick enough. Another key, thank you. I think Cube of Meat saved me again. So if I was the boss, I would probably be top right, so I think I'm heading in the right direction here. Ugh, double monstro, that's not good. Also, your instant bullshit firing when you're frozen is not nice. Now, we are actually onto red hearts now, so I do need to worry a bit. A little bit. Probably should have fired at death first, but never mind. We're not getting any chests. For a third time we get this room. Oh look how angry Wrath is when I froze him there. Just before he spits out a bomb, he is furious. Another seam cell, sure, why not? One more room for a reroll. Oh. I'm gonna get hit at least once in this room, so thankfully at least I get the wafer effect afterwards. Unless I keep him frozen. Nope. Oh well, we got through it. Yeah, let's go reroll. As I say, I would be playing as Blue Baby again anyway, so even if I got a chest win, I'd still have to kill Isaac at some point, so I don't think picking up the Ankh has any real value. Unless I was desperate for the win, which I'm not, so... Uh, Mulligan is fine, I suppose. Mom's Pad is not. So if we do get another reroll, I shall reroll that. If I don't, I'll take it into the boss fight. If I'm right about where the fight is, then I won't, but we'll see. And then after we do that, hopefully win. Yeah, oh, there's actually no fight. I'll go back for a moment's pad. Also, didn't I have a devil card? I left the devil's card, so the devil's card, the devil card. So I'm glad I went back. I'm just doing myself into a harder fight if I don't. So this almost certainly is going to be the first hard mode victory. And if you enjoyed, I hope that you leave a like, and comment, subscribe for more Daily Isaac as well. Certainly more to come, more hard mode, I'm working my way through it very slowly. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to freeze you, we're going to devil card, but it's fear you. Well, whatever, you just, you don't even get affected by fear because you still fire. Well, we have the Book of Belial damage, we have the mulligan, so that's going to spit out 
lots of flies, and our spiders do good damage. Yeah, this is actually going to be a lot easier than the Isaac fight. And he's done. First hard mode victory. Did we get anything for that? No, but that's fine. If you enjoyed, as I said, please leave a like. There will be more gaming stuff to come. My name has been Flick, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta, for now.